Welcome to the Pish Tosh Podcast with Emma Redmarch Rose. Thank you for listening as I share my interviews with students of the performing arts. Hey, you, you want to hear some facts about a group or a team or some one-man acts? Things like leprechaun, cereal, all kinds of other weekly new material, how gingers are inferior, and strategies to fix your brain's interior. Things like pogo sticks, politics, heretics, lucky tricks, topic picks, and ass kicks. An awkward middle name guessing game. Enjoy the show, I'm glad you came. We're striving, conniving, surviving, and high-fiving. We're talking wins and losses, we're feeling like we're bosses. Better buckle up, be cautious, because this might just make you feel solace, or thoughtless, or flawless, or nauseous. A relief for the typecast, a remedy for the overcast. A reward for the steadfast. This is the Pitch Tosh Podcast. Introducing today's guest, the adventurous, the hilarious, the kindest dude I've ever met in my life, Alan Van Natter. My guest today is Alan Van Natter. Hi. Yes. Now, Alan has been in the improv classes with Corey Harris, my partner. Um, for, is it, you're in your fifth term right now? Yes, we're in uh, wow. Improv E. Oh now. my goodness, yeah. and that's kind of, it's basically the final of the program. Right. Sometimes we're, there's we're, an we're F, We're ready but to graduate. Wow, that is so exciting. Yeah. Oh man, so let's take it back. Okay. Well, uh, what's, your, what's your first uh, experience with performing, would you say? <clears throat> well, that would go a long way back when <laughs> I was in high school. Oh nice. That's, and that's, that's many, many years ago. Like four or five? <laughs> four or five d- decades or more. <laughs> so I went, to, I went to a tiny little high school in uh, southwest Missouri, um, Carl Junction, Missouri. And um, there were uh, 61 of us in our, in our senior class. Oh, wow. Uh, but I, I was in uh, a couple of school plays. One, I was in a drama club. And um, we put on a show, a a series of one-act plays, and um, this was when I was a junior, and I was I was voted best actor. Oh my goodness! Way way back then, when I was just seventeen years old. That's awesome. And then and then immediately after high school, I went on I went on a a fifty-year hiatus. Oh my goodness! Because I was about to say, did that just open all the doors? (laughs) You started acting then? No, there there were there were no no agents beating on my door. No (laughs) no Hollywood. searches for me or anything like that so I, I, I went off in other directions yeah. but um, I'm I, glad we got we got back to it that's great <laughs> nice eventually you know you, you, every, your star will rise somewhere al- along the way if you just hang in there long enough that's right that's right right so what was your first when you were jumping back into it after your high oh well I had I, gosh I just had had a career and, and then an, and then an, another career and and, <laughs> and then uh, in a casual conversation with a friend uh, um, a year or so ago, uh, who is a, who is an actress, uh, and, and she's appeared in, in some Chicago TV programs and oh, so on, and she, so she was saying, "Alan, you ought to you ought to uh, try acting." She, she says, "You have a nice voice, and I, I think you'd really like it." Yes. And so I, I sort of mulled that over a little bit, and then. Um, oh, a while later we talked again. She said, "Have you thought any more about that?" He thought, "Well, I said, well, yeah, I have. I think, I think I, I'll, I'll check into it." And so, I looked into uh, acting schools, acting lessons, and so yeah. on. And I just kind of stumbled onto Second City. Oh, neat! And uh, so I read, um, you know, about the, uh, the improv program and acting, and, and there was just so, so much emphasis on uh, how improv just uh, can improve just practically every oh, aspect of it, your life. It absolutely does, too, yes. And uh, so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And uh, so I, I started out in improv A, um, I guess about a year ago, somewhere, wow. somewhere so that was like the around f- April, I think. Of that last was the year. first jump back in? That was the first wow. uh, entry back into That's so uh, exciting. To, uh, being on stage. Oh, and man. it was so much fun. Yes. And um, wow, the t- uh, my teacher, uh, Yasmin Ramos, oh, neat. was just so encouraging <laughs> and energetic and fun. And all the classmates, that's where I met Corey yes. at, in, in that A class the first time. And uh, so there are about, I think about six of us that started in A that have continued on in the wow. same group uh, and, and we're all in E now. 
That's so great. And it's just been been terrific. I've I've, I've learned so much, and I feel like I've I've grown as a as a person, even though. You know, I was pretty f fully grown <laughs> when I got into <laughs> yeah, it. So. But, but uh, you know, it's just it's just really fascinating to me um, how uh, how change comes about and, and how mm -hmm. how wonderful change can be if if you just allow it to. Absolutely, to, to and I want to thank this you. like act actress as well, and uh, for encouraging you and, and pointing you kind of in the direction <laughs> of, of performing again. Yay! I'm so glad. Well, uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll, awesome. Thank you, Gabby. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for suggesting that. Shout out. <laughs> yes, that's so awesome. Yeah. So, was it uh, as far as your expectations for Level A and like Second City as a whole? Did it did it meet those, or were you surprised by a lot, or? I had I didn't know what it was going to yes. be like. I had no idea, and so um, my my first e experience there was uh, just blown away yes. by by how good it was. And I I've always kind of thought of myself as an introvert, kind of a shy, yeah. re reserved person, and I realized that I'm really not. I was about to say that doesn't sound like you know what I've seen. That's all. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm great. Just, I've kind of been a frustrated extrovert all my yeah, life. I guess absolutely. you know, kind of hold, trying to find the tribe. Hold, yeah, holding it exactly. Yeah. Right, Gosh. trying to find my tribe. I like that. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, I've kind of been, been had been holding it in, and I and I think, um, I think within each of us, there's there's this sort of evolutionary reluctance to, to step out there, you know, yes. this cautionary oh, aspect to ourselves where, where you know, there's that Afraid to take the risk that drooling demon self-doubt that, yes. that's kind of biting on your ankles and, you know, saying, you can't do this, there, you can't do this, <laughs> you, you shouldn't even be there. That's exactly what mine sounds like, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just, just a, 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 a raspy old rascal. Right, yeah. right. And so, uh, you know, he was, he was non at me and saying, "Yeah, you're you're too old. You oh, you shouldn't no. be in that. You're there. Look at all this youth and vitality that's out there." And and but I I just uh, kept kicking his ass. Nice. And, and just yes. you know, Stay out there. That's right. And it's it has been such a wonderful oh, experience. Just so much great. fun. Yes, and you've accomplished a lot in this year too, because this is you're in your second run of Coach Ensemble right now. Well, no, this is or, my first run of Coach Ensemble. First, I, I I've auditioned seen you so many times. I auditioned now. twice. <laughs> Um, and um, that's another experience, oh, isn't it? Man, oh yes. my God! Talk wow. about putting yourself on the line. Oh my God! These coach shots, you're really, you're out <sighs> there, and yeah. the, uh, it's it's so much different than class being yeah. in front of a big audience. Right? Oh, my yeah, it, it is it's a huge uh, experience and, and just so wonderful. And then, um, well, with Corey and the other group, we were in uh, two pillow fight. Um, that that's what I'm thinking uh, of. Nice. Yes, yeah. and, that was great. And Congratulations! That was, Thank that was you. so cool. That was wonderful. Oh, and yeah. then, uh, guys, to be in coached ensembles and and my coach Mary Hines. Do you know Mary? Oh, that, yes, yes, I do. Yes, not not super personally, but I know her from you know Second City she from being amazing. here and everything. Yes, she's just so awesome. That's a great. As are as are I found all the teachers. Oh uh, man, here. yes, They're just such wonderful people. Absolutely. Oh, it's it's like a haven. I feel like for me, being here. You know, I was the same way where I was kind of. A loner for a, a while, actually, yeah. and my career was a li uh, was as a librarian, and I kind of always felt like there was like an age gap for me in there, uh, in the yeah. other direction. Yeah. Um, and uh, so all my friends were much older, <laughs> and the, my coworkers. So now I'm like almost in shock that I'm with my age. So we're like kind of going the opposite way uh -huh. here, where yeah. I'm, I'm like, whoa, these people are my peers. Yeah. So I've never been around them. I was homeschooled. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw that out there too, sorry. <laughs> but yes. Yes. Um, so, do you have. Uh it sounds like you almost weren't specifically aiming for comedy when you came back I to it. I was not. That's so I, funny. I, I, I really that's wasn't neat. looking to get into comedy, and I, I yeah. still don't know if, if that's my but, direction yeah. or not. But I'm telling you that this is this is a great uh, deflection, you know, to, oh, to head yeah. off in that direction. Yes, and to have and, that and under your belt. Because yes. a lot of stuff yeah. does has, have right. at least you know right. comic relief, yeah. you know. Yeah, and you know what's so cool about it? What I've come to learn is that. 
um, comedy is is just so uh, relative to to everyday life. You know, yes. you, you just look for those comedic things oh. in, 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 in in everyday uh, aspects, and then and then you find well, what's funny is is also just what's everyday. Yes. You know, so much. Oh my um, There's this. Um, there's a Harold Ramos quote, kind of like that, that uh -huh. down, down on the wall that I that I reflect on uh, a lot. That that's you know just to to look for the comedic in in, in everyday life. Yes. Oh yeah. man, we are surrounded by it, and it's like, it's like so encouraged here, and and almost required to look yeah. for it. So it's it's such right. a great habit yeah. to get into yeah. everywhere you go. Oh man, I don't know uh, how this is going to sound. I'm just gonna just very. Uh, objectively repeat what I heard yesterday. I have no context for it. And of course it happened in Walmart because that's where all the interesting things there, happen. There are a lot explain. of interesting people that gather there. Yes, <laughs> right. yes. I heard two siblings getting into an argument um, and one of them goes, you're so white. And he goes, no, I'm not. And I, that's the only part I heard. And I was like, oh, what? what's happening? <laughs> I'm so confused. But yeah, you hear a lot of things at Walmart. Walmart <laughs> yeah. and the train are probably yeah. my two biggest places to find comedy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you, you, there's just so much, um, so much activity on on the train, and uh, sometimes things just just bubble out, and and and, oh, you, yeah. you, and, and, and people just kind of it's kind of a, a matrix kind of a thing. No, not not a matrix. What do you call it? <laughs> a flash mob kind of a thing. Yes, where, where yes. somebody will just just come out with with uh, just some wild statement on yes, the train. Yes, yeah. yes. They're, like they're Preaching the gospel yes. or, or, or selling something or, or right. just... Telling their life story to whoever is going to hear them. Yeah. Yes, it is. Every day is an adventure here. Oh, my goodness. I was just... I had kind of an odd morning. I woke up in a really good mood, <laughs> which is great. Not that, not that that's odd, but everything that I did the rest of the morning was odd. I did a lot of singing and a lot of making up yeah. songs around the kitchen, <laughs> so I feel bad for Corey. Um, but he was very patient <laughs> as he was watching TV and I'm yelling songs. Um, and I think one of them was just the premise, basically, of the song was how, how diverse Chicago is and how everybody's so different and how wonderful that is. But the song itself was just madness. It was something like, like I'm gonna eat a pickle and then I'm gonna do this because I'm in Chicago and everybody's doing whatever they want. Right. So just all kinds of random stuff. Oh man. That's so cool to, to, to make that observation because one of the things that I always do uh, whenever I enter a, a place, a Starbucks or a Walmart or yeah. or the the L or whatever is I I just always kind of take in the scope of, of the the demographic there right you know well who how I do love I, it. and, and yes. how do how do I fit in with this yes. it's just well what's my niche in here and and, and you, you've got African Americans and you've got Asians and you, and you've got yes. Hispanics and, and you've got old people and young people and and, and oh. little bitty people and and all walks of life I and it's love just it. such a a, a, oh. a wonderful stew of Yes. of humanity absolutely yeah. and I think that's why there's so much like amazing art here and amazing music and comedy and everything and especially coming from a small town and so you're uh, you were b raised in Missouri it, it, yes uh, well I, I, I was born in Wichita Kansas and when and then my family moved to Southwest Missouri when I was about I was in the th starting the third grade and so, uh, what are you, seven, seven or eight in the okay, third grade? Yeah, probably. And so, <laughs> and, and then, so, um, Wichita is, is not just, you know, some huge metropolis. It's, it's, it's kind of a, a little spot out in, in dry part of Kansas. But um, Carl Junction was just this, this tiny little village. Oh. <laughs> and uh, it was a, a different experience altogether. But I'm glad I grew up there. It, it was yeah. uh, rural. And um, I was a townie in, 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 oh, a, in, fun, a, in yes. a rural area, so yes. I walked to school. But every, most of my friends rode the school bus and lived out on, on the farm. Oh, yeah. neat. Gosh, so, that's awesome. Yeah. Yes. I really, I, I never thought I'd be in the city. If, if you asked me years ago, yeah. I, and I guess I just didn't take the people into account because that's, I just, that's what I love so much about this place is is the people and the creativity and the talent and you know you're surrounded by it. Um, but I grew up in like in North Carolina uh -huh. in in the woods like pretty much, and yeah. that's what I loved, what I still love. And so the winter 
has really not been that bad. I mean, it's been fairly mild. Well, I'm gonna throw, throw, throw that out there. Yeah, so far. Oh, not wood. Yeah, where are we? Oh, <laughs> jinx on jinx. I don't know. But yeah, so I never thought I'd be in the city, but now, I mean, I just now I'm like I don't ever want to leave because I love it. Have you yeah. been in Chicago long now? Well, we moved to my my wife and I moved to uh, Oak Park in 1998 so we've been okay. in this area for uh, tw going on 22 years wow, we crazy. moved from from Kansas City Missouri and and um, I had uh, had just crashed just headlong into a into a midlife crisis I was in the in yeah. them and uh, uh, I was a manager with Walmart Oh, and okay, I had yeah. been for quite some time, and and it was just it just eating me up. Yes. Oh and, man, what a job! Um, That's gotta and be so, tough. And um, so, gosh, I, I took this huge step and and went back to college. Oh, that's wonderful. And, um, and, and did a couple of years of junior college in Kansas City. And then uh, my wife and I took this great Midwest kind of a tour of colleges. Oh, we went to nice. Iowa and, and Wisconsin and, and came to Chicago because she had lived in Chicago earlier and, and loved the city. And, and she said, you've got to see Chicago. Oh, yeah. and, and here I was, my mid-40s, and I had never been to Chicago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, cool. And so, you know, this little, this little hick country boy. <laughs> and anyway, we uh, to, to not to, to tell every detail but uh, we ended up moving to Chicago and, and I uh, finished my education at Northwestern oh. and uh, we've been here since then it's just, it's just such a, a, a great place to be yes that's so exciting that's awesome nice I hear good things about Oak Park um, I've, I know very little about everything yet I'm, I yeah. learned like the areas that I've been but yes yeah, well yeah it's awesome. it's um, it's a really nice suburb. Very, what do you think? I think it <laughs> takes, takes on this this very liberal um, oh, okay. um, mantle. Okay. I mean, we, we 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 talk real liberal anyway. We, yeah. we, we may live real conservative, <laughs> but, but we talk real liberal. Yeah. So, so it's this kind of nice. interesting uh, mishmash. That's awesome. Yeah. That's wonderful. Do um do you feel like there were comedians like along the way throughout your life that you've really admired? Wow. Um, <laughs> Or if not specifically actors yeah. that you you know might have kind of lead, lead you know throughout well uh, early on mm -hmm. uh, Red Skelton was just such oh, a yes. such a, a, a huge comedic uh, influence on oh, everybody yes. you know and everybody would you know he was just so funny just so <laughs> so uh, uh, outrageous yes. and uh, expressive you know his his characters were were. Uh, were real in in a sense, but 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 you know just uh, odd enough that that it, it was hilarious, and so I, I, I always enjoyed uh, watching Red Skelton. Yeah. And uh, but then beyond that, um, pretty much everybody that um, that everybody else liked, uh, uh, Jim Belushi and mm -hmm. and uh, Chevy Chase. Uh, we could just take and, a step out of the room, right? And they just, just look point. look uh, along yes, those faces yes. uh, up uh, up That's there. That's so wonderful. Uh, so um. Not anybody that, that I I looked at and said, "Oh wow, I'm just gonna get up there and and, and be like that guy." Yeah. But you know, just just in enjoying um, comedy a lot. Nice, which uh, is actually probably the you know better way to be too, because that's more authentic. You know, you're coming in with your own view, you know, point of view and your own style. Kind of a that's blend nice. of, of of everything. You, yeah, you know, that that, uh, that you've experienced and and, and watched. That's yeah. right. That's actually um, in. Level two of conservatory, the whole kind of theme of this level is uh -huh. point of view. And so that's been really interesting. So that it's a huge emphasis on, you know, our individuality, what makes us different and special and kind right. of what reference level we can bring and everything. So it's been really great. That is such an important aspect, I think, oh. of, of, of not just, just comedic acting, but, but, but any kind, oh, of, yeah, kind of acting, acting is, yeah. is to draw yourself into or allow yourself to be drawn into the story. Right, and that that just the, the human story is just so fascinating, oh and and when and going back to these gathering places uh, like like a Starbucks or a Walmart or, or wherever it might be, when you look around and and you see all, all these individuals, you just I do anyway. I think about well, what's their story? Yes. You know, oh my what, gosh. What, what what brought them here to at yes. this moment? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I've had so many long conversations with strangers in my life that I've just run into at gas stations or just out and about. We just start talking and then keep talking, and I'm like, I gotta know more. Like, yes, oh man. You know, if you can overcome that uh, that shyness, you know, that that innate oh, innate uh, reluctance within oh. yourself mm -hmm. to 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 reach out to others, 
you can just have some of the most ex interesting experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was in an um, improv B class, our teacher uh, was Kate Cohen. And, okay. and uh, do you know Kate? Um, it's, again, the name sounds familiar, but I think I know her She's less. She's just so vivacious Aww. and brilliant. And, <laughs> and, and, and just uh, her whole um, uh, approach to, to Improv B was it, it was about characters, about, about, about oh, finding great, characters. Yes. And, and she says, I'm going to give you all a tool belt, and you're, you're going <laughs> to find ways to hang these character tools on your belt so that you can dra draw them out and oh, work with them. That's perfect. And, and so what I, what I discovered in that class was that inside of each of us, there are just all these great characters, oh and they're goodness. just eager to jump out and play yes. if you just let them. Oh, that's wonderful! Yeah. Yes, and 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 just uh, you know push push that that shyness, that reluctance to the side if you uh, and and just just be. Yes. And so um, when I was in um, in Kate's class, and she was just encouraging us, to, you know, to 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 find these ways of of coaxing out these characters. Um, one uh, Saturday night, I. Uh, I decided I wanted to go see uh, an improv show at the I.O. and oh, I, I yes. had never been to I.O. before. Oh, so, neat! Oh, so I so I got all dressed up and, uh -huh. uh, and, and <laughs> in a coat and tie and and, yes. and my dancing. We were just talking. You have wonderful style. <laughs> my <laughs> dancing shoes. Nice. <laughs> and so I decided I'm going to be not me. Oh I'm my gonna be, goodness! I'm going to be somebody else. <gasps> That's so fun. And it was it was. So much fun! Oh I, I stepped way, way beyond out of my comfort level. I love that. And so I was, I was sitting there uh, in um, in the aisle theater. It was before the show started. And it was just me and maybe four or five other people. And I did this outrageous thing that I I have never done. I just went, up, I just stood up, and I walked over to this table and I sat down with a oh complete stranger. Oh my goodness, that's so and, funny. And he just looked at me, <laughs> and I and I looked at him and, and for a minute, and then I said, "Have you ever had this experience where you've just been somewhere, and um, and somebody just some complete stranger just." out of the blue, just came up and just sat down and, and started a conversation <laughs> with you. Oh my God. And he looked at me and he said, well, not until right now. Oh my goodness, that's <laughs> and we, awesome. And we just had this great conversation. He was just open to it. That's and great. it was it was like improv in, in, in real life. Yes, oh my goodness. And, and we, were, we were just sitting there, we were just yes and oh. each other, just back and forth. Gosh. And, and I loved it. And I was this, I, was, I wasn't I was me, I was just this different character. I, I was this kind of South Chicago guy, oh, you know, and so I funny. sat down there and that's what I said. I, hey man, you ever, you ever have this happen to you? You know, you just, somebody just comes up and just plops their ass down right in front of you. And then, you know, just starts chatting you up and you don't know who the hell they are or whatever. And, and they just, you know, they just kind of keep talking like that. You ever have that happen, huh? Oh, my God. That is awesome. <laughs> I really, that's great. I really want to do that now. And that is great advice for anybody that is really shy and just, like, wants that connection. Yeah. And it's, like, nervous about taking yeah. the risk. It's, like, you can be who you want to yeah. be, especially if you're going to a new place. Yeah. It's, like, a perfect opportunity. God, I love that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, awesome. I think it. You know, I think it might kind of, <laughs> kind of push the needle on the on the creepometer <laughs> up there a little bit. No. That's so you know? funny. But you gotta but take that yeah, risk. You got, yeah, you got yeah, you got you got to risk like, that a little bit. Yes, sure. it's like you know your intentions are good. <laughs> so it's like well, yeah, push that out right. into the universe. I do that myself. I'm just like, I'm not creepy. I'm not creepy. There's so many things I do throughout a day where I'm just like, if I wasn't a woman, like I'm like, thank yeah. God. I mean I'm not I'm not for sexism. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, I my I'm creepy <laughs> all the time and I don't mean to be. <laughs> oh, I'm just mouth breathing and on the train. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I think we're going to go on a quick commercial break. Cool. We'll be right back All with right. more Alan. Our grandparent sex. One night remains tomorrow, February 5th. Witness hot grandparent sex. Our sketch show, which will be performed with three other teams live on stage at Judy's Beat Lounge at the Second City at 10 30 p.m. I'll see you there and you'll see. Hot grandparent sex. 
And we're back with Alan Van Nader. 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 Van Nader. Oh, man, I can yeah. butcher some names. Oh, my oh. name has been butchered so many oh, times. No. I've been called Van Nader and Van Nuts and you know, oh, my Van, goodness. Van, Van everything. Yeah. yeah they, they usually get the Van right. Is that that, that last oh, part? Oh, so. that's where they get yeah. mixed up. Right. Man. Yeah. The, uh, and I can, can I guess your middle name? <gasps> I'll bet you can. Oh, is it Alan? Uh, is it Alan Michael? It's not, Alan. not even close to Michael. <laughs> no. It's much shorter. I'll give you a hint. It's shorter oh. than Michael. It's a one syllable. One syllable. Right. Alan. Eh. If it's one syllable, what I'm thinking of is like a, a part of a longer name. Alan Joe? <gasps> no. <gasps> is it uh, Alan Steve? No. Would you like a, another hint? Sure. Okay. It's very similar to your middle name. Oh my goodness! To my middle name? Yes. It is. Alan... Mar... Rose oh. or Marie? Because I get that a lot. Right. Uh, to your... Is Rose your last name? Yes, but I oh, get that well, it's really all the sim- time, it's, all the time. Yeah, because it's because your your pod your um blog is like Rose March. Oh yeah, uh, it's Red very March, confusing. Red March, Rose. I, I, I don't have know, but anyway, it's, it's I get it from my it's mom. It's close to, to. We like a lot of names. It's close to Rose. Al- Alan, there's a name. Ron. No. Oh my goodness. But you're really, really oh. close. You are so so warm. Rob. <gasps> Alan Rod. <laughs> Alan Row 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 your boat. Ross? Ross. Alan oh, Ross. Oh, Alan Ross. Yes. That's like the Alan obviously Ross. one. I'm so, so sorry. Close. That's the closest <laughs> one to me. That's like all the same thing. That's so funny. Oh, yes. That's great. Alan Ross. Alan Ross Van Natter. That's That me. does sound similar. Yeah. Emma Ross. Emma Ross. Emma, Emma, I, now I can't say my name. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Alan Ross Alan Van Adder. Alan Ross Van Adder. Awesome. Yeah. You know, this. I hope you take this as a compliment. My sister uh, named her son, his middle name is Van. Uh-huh. <laughs> because, <laughs> and I, I don't know if we've had a long conversation about it, her and I, but her last name, her married name is Hedenskog. And so now his name is Hunter Van Hedenskog. <laughs> What? But his middle name is Van. That is, that is so important <laughs> I sounding. I know. It just and sounds he's nine. I'm wow. like, whoa, this kid's got a lot. Yeah. He's got a lot going for him. So, I'd be a great name for an ambassador. <laughs> yes, or, or like a baron. Yeah. Baron yes. Von oh, Hedden's Baron Von I love that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's perfect. I'm going to have to get him a, like a little suit and like a big giant hat. Like Napoleon or something. <laughs> oh, yes. So, I, yeah, I like that idea too. Uh, maybe I'll, maybe if I have a child, I'll name it, uh, I'll, mid, middle, its middle name will just be O. And then it'll just be like <laughs> yeah. O Rose yeah. or yeah. O, o Harris or something. Just oh, to, yeah, that, yeah, that would just sound Give so Irish. Irish right, sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sean Patrick O Rose. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right, but we'll figure it out. Um, yes, okay, so <laughs> tangents, tangents, and tangents. We were talking about how creepy we worry that we are. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, while we were on break, Alan and I were discussing how part of part of my initial reason for starting the podcast was kind of to connect with people and make new friends, and how, I mean, it really is hard to overcome that, like, that inborn shyness that we all have to kind of keep to ourselves and like uh, growing up it, it, night and day from how I am now to how I was growing up. You know, it, it could have been partially the homeschooling, but not sa- not as to say that that's, you know, normal or that all homeschoolers go through that, but that had a lot of social anxiety as a kid and even as a teenager. And even my first job, I they joked, I worked at a library for over 10 years and they joked that they didn't know I worked there for the first five years because I like was so quiet and so and it's what I think it's part of the reason I wanted to be a librarian because I'm like no one can hear me right, <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna go to the yeah. work at the quietest just place hide out here in, a, yes. in, in the public library absolutely <laughs> yeah. yes it's like if I'm too quiet then I'm doing my job well so <laughs> I'm like okay good uh, but that has changed yeah. I've slowly gotten right. louder yeah. and uh, well see there was this other yeah. character that was inside of you that right? just just wanted to come out and play yes and I feel yeah. like that is Red March I feel like yeah. I've named 
tamed <laughs> this one, and she's I've let her loose in the past couple years, and she's wild. It's been fun though. Oh. Yes. You know what's really interesting, I think, about, at least at least this to me about about people is that uh, as you as you grow up, you your first identity is is yourself as as a child. You know, you, you begin yes. to kind of kind of identify and, and separate yourself from from your family mm -hmm. uh, around around three years of age or so, and then and that's that's then who you are until you get to puberty. And then, and then you're someone and then else. You you're somebody who else. Yeah. And you got to start who over. the hell oh am I? Yes. I'm not. I'm not that kid anymore. Mm -hmm. I've, I've got all these crazy ideas yes. and all this, this hormonal influence that's mm -hmm. just making me nuts. Yes. And, and and you're just a whole different person. Absolutely. And and it's it's so hard to balance between those two. Oh. And, you know, to, to come out of the one identity and and, and try to uh, figure out what's next. Oh yeah. And and, and, and it, but it and it doesn't end at puberty. You know, it just kind of goes on and on. And right. On. You think you know when you're not a teenager anymore. You think like oh in my twenties yeah. I'll have right. it together. Yeah. And now I'm like maybe my thirties <laughs> maybe I'll have it together then. Yeah. Uh, but it's and it's so funny. Mm. I I think I had this idea in my head that like childhood was supposed to be this like wonderful perfect thing and I, yeah. you know and I was like maybe whiny and s on some level and was like oh wasn't that great but now at, at my age now I'm like no I'm 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 an adult and it's so much better I'm in control of my surroundings I'm in control of my own environment and happiness and the people I surround myself with and I'm like oh I wouldn't go back to oh. oh, you yeah. need that time right. of course yeah. but Yes, it just keeps getting yeah. better, though. That's that's my experience yeah. so far. So again, knock wood. There's <laughs> lots of unjinxing going on, but yes. Oh, it's just um, see what I was going to say. I had I had this thought that 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 this kind of oh man, me. You, yeah. Don't you hate when that happens? Oh, it just, it's wild. It's just uh, as you, it happens more frequently. Yeah. Uh, the um, I do I think, anyway. Yeah. Go ahead. No, Where I'm. Where you were? I, 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 oh, who's to say anymore? <laughs> I do the same thing, obviously. And it was the funny because at the library, I'd be working with a lot of my coworkers were forty years older than me, and a couple of them would joke about that too. And um, but and they would they would say, you know, oh, you know, senior moment or something like that. And right. I would be like, oh, I just did the same thing. <laughs> like, what is wrong? <laughs> I was like, either I'm, I'm, we're just all on the same level. I don't know if this is good or not. Um, but I do. Uh, you know, when you walk into a room and you have no clue why you're in that room. Yes. <laughs> uh, I do that on my phone where I will open an application and I'll be like, it'll be calendar or a bank application on my phone and I'll just, I'll look, stare at it. Just so disappointed in myself. <laughs> just like, I don't know what I was, why I opened Emma, this. I'm so glad you said that because that's such a frequent oh thing. Gosh. It's it's with me and, and Google, you know, it, it's, oh, it's like yes. the, the, the Google drop. I go to Google because I want to look up whatever, yes. whatever little I need tidbit. Information. Yeah, whatever. It's a little little iota yeah. of information that I just had to have at yes. that moment, and I'll pull my Google up there, and then I'll get. What's the capital of Florida? And you and you're like, what's the? Yeah, what what's the, the what? hell did I go to Google for? I don't <laughs> yeah. know. And um. then and then <laughs> uh, you just kind of pull something up, and then you get lost in this this rabbit hole, or you just kind oh, of man. go off, yes. and and all oh. of a sudden. You know, you, you've been sitting on the toilet for 20 minutes. And, that's right. And your legs are numb, and, yes, and you, you, you still just, hadn't figured out what you were doing. That's yeah, right. right. I have a game on my phone that I get <laughs> lost in, and sometimes I'll make it to another level, and uh, it'll do this thing every now and then. It'll be like, oh, you have 15 minutes of free play. Free, play as much as you want, and then the Ooh. free play will be up, and I'll be like, that was 15 minutes? <laughs> if that was 15 <laughs> minutes, then how? And I've done that so many. Oh, my God. I'm yeah. scared to even, yeah. like... No, and I've, I've beat all the levels on yeah. this game. That that time oh. awareness is, is just so fascinating, and, and oh, it, it plays into improv so so meticulously, doesn't it? Yes. That time awareness. When we, we did our uh, coached ensemble this past Thursday night, and and uh, that time just went by so quickly. Oh you know, man. Uh, We had about fourteen minutes, I think. Oh. And zoom, it was just up, and, and and you it's know, like you walk through the curtains, and then you walk back yeah. through the curtains. It's and, like and what? It, all, it all went so quick, and it was so much and fun. And trying to remember and you just, anything, just up but up. <laughs> right, exactly. It's gone. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, you're totally right. And we, I went, what I, what I run into a lot is, um, it'll either go by so fast, or there'll be a, a thirty second 
you know, period within this 14 minute show yeah. or 10 minutes or 15 um, that feels like an eternity. Yeah. <laughs> would someone please yes. edit? <laughs> Absolutely. And this is where I would cut now. Yeah. Can you see me? I'm staring at you. Yeah. Yes. Save oh my goodness. Me. Or I have no the next line is gonna be terrible. Don't let me say it. <laughs> Don't make me say it. I'm not gonna sing now. We've worked up to that point. <laughs> That's what I was running to. Uh, we had class on Thursday night um, in my conservatory and we uh, one of the two-person scenes, it led so perfectly and organically into one of the characters rapping. And I don't think they meant to, you know, it just happened so fast. And she did, she got a couple lines out and I was so proud, because I'm like, that is, in an improv, you see that happen. Yeah. It leads up to where it's like, right. oh, they gotta sing now. And, like and, there's and, nothing and else you can do. just at that moment, and they recognize that, that yes. and they just nail it. Isn't oh, that so crazy. fun? It's crazy. It's like, yeah. where does that come from? Yeah. And they'll say the uh, same thing. Uh, they don't know. I don't yeah. know. Have you done the musical improv jams or anything? I haven't done the jam. Oh my gosh, we should now, do some Now, time. one one of our, um, oh, our, our, our D-level uh, grad show, uh, yes. I, m myself That's and fun. and two other um, of my classmates did a, a sing it uh, a game oh, nice. where we were we were in this the scene and then uh, the moderator uh, clapped her hands and she says okay now sing it and so we had to take the last mm -hmm. line that we said yes. and turn it into a song That's great. and that was fun oh. uh, I, I really enjoyed that we were morticians and we were we were preparing this body and so we so it was kind of a dark humor thing <laughs> That's fantastic. It was fun. Oh my goodness. If you ever get a chance to come to one of the jams, you know, let me know. I'll, I'll pop up too because I've okay. been to a few of them here. It's on, it's on uh, uh, Saturday. Saturday afternoons mm -hmm. at 4 or 4.30 or something. Yep, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, it, it's a blast. Yeah. And I, I think I've had a different like MC just about every time I've went and they're all so talented. You know, they just get up there oh, on the keyboards. The musicians I'm like, are, are great. The music oh directors goodness. are just uh, amazing. Blows me away. Which makes me think of, there's a, a podcast that I think you would love. Ooh, it, and you, maybe you know of it. So. It's called Off Book. I have heard of it, but I haven't. I haven't like reheard of it in it a little is, while. I needed to be reminded. It is musical improv, and oh they gosh. are fabulous. They are I just amazing, that. and they just launch into these these oh. songs, these arias, the, these these um, ballads, and and are just amazing. It, it's just so well done. Oh my! Goodness. So yeah, put that on your on your podcast oh, to listen yeah, to. Oh yeah, absolutely. This. Off book. I love podcasts. Oh, yeah, me don't too. you? Yes, of yeah. course. I listen of to. Um, you're, oh you're yeah. A, oh man. Podcast lady. Definitely a podcast lady. <laughs> I like that. The um, I listen to mostly Armchair Expert with Dax Shepard. I don't know oh, that one. Oh, Armchair it's great. Expert. It's great, and it's just it's um. It's a lot of celebrities and musicians, but then every couple episodes they'll do experts on expert, they call it, uh -huh. and where they'll have like a journalist or a scientist or a, you know, a physician, and uh, a lot of times they're you know, very, very successful, and you, know, and, and you learn so much. Those are, I love all the episodes, but those are like really educational, and I'm like, yes, I'm, you know, it kind of feels a little yeah. bit more substantial to learn something. Right, I'll have to know. put that on my list. Yes. Uh, armchair expert. Armchair yeah. expert. And I was listening to it on the way here, actually, on the train. Yeah. That was so funny. Um, and then also, uh, this one's called The Podcast from Hell. I don't know if you've I've listened to because to because this oh, was the, you, you had um, the the uh, yes, the developer Jacob, that the creator yes. of that on on your uh, one of your early podcasts. Yes, and I oh, listened great. to it and it was it's it's crazy. Yes, yeah. and <laughs> it's that's just totally mind improv. bending. Yeah, and, they, and you, you oh, oh it's, it's and it's just uh, such fun improv because you just go off on these wild tangents. You never know where. But you know, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's it's, it's it's so great. Uh, what do you have some favorites? One of my favorites is called with special. Special guest Lauren Lapkus. Oh, have you, do you know who Lauren Lapkus is? That sounds so familiar. She is the she's the she's the prison it. guard in Orange Is the New Black, the, the female prison I guard. I can picture her exactly. Yeah, I know just who yeah. you're talking about. Tall, tall slender. Yeah, yeah. Oh, kind, she's so kind of a funny. kind of a funny face. Yes, yeah, which is perfect. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I've, yeah. I've like embraced yeah. all of it now because yeah. it's like once I got out here and doing headshots too. Like yeah. what, what everybody reminds you is like. You know, we, do, we really don't want a cookie cutter. Right. Nobody wants that. You right. know, whatever Just makes you. you unique. Yeah, that's what people would want. Right. Yes, and she is unique and recognizable and, and hilarious. Yeah, and she is oh. so funny. And so she does this th this podcast in that she is the guest on every podcast. Oh, my and, and, gosh. And her, her guests, the, the people she invites in, 
uh, are the hosts. Oh, I love and, and that. So, and she has no idea who she's going to be introduced as. Oh my god! And, and, and so one time, you know, one, one of the guests says, uh, well, I'm going to bring on fellow psychic Maude Grivens, oh and here she is. God. And so they were these two, I don't know if that's the right name, but anyway, they were these two psychics oh that, that, that just improv together this whole long form improv about all the things that they saw. In, in their psychic visions. Oh my, that sounds like a blast. Oh, it's, it's oh, so funny. I cannot and, wait. I'm going to have to And they get into such that. hilarious characters and, and do such great stuff. Yeah. That's great. With special guest Lauren Lapkus. And the, um, uh, I think I was first introduced to her. I'm trying to think, of, I might have seen her around because she's been in quite a bit now. She's mm -hmm. doing so well. Yeah. Um, uh, characters on Netflix. Oh. She played uh, one of the uh, episodes of Characters where she played you know, uh, multiple, multiple characters uh -huh. in one episode, yeah. kind of like, uh, um, there's so many examples out there, I'm, and I, of course I can't think of one, but you know, uh, have you heard of some shows called Lunatics? Or short poppies. I don't know. I don't know yeah. those at all. No, no problem. Are, there's are they like Netflix. They things? they are. I think short poppies is on Amazon Prime now. Uh -huh. uh, Lunatics is on Netflix, and I'm trying to think of the names of. Uh, and I do do the reference section. You know that. Uh -huh. So okay, I'll clear all, all that up. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, do a little recap. And uh, but basically, the style is you know one comedian playing many characters, uh -huh. and that's so much fun. And it really shows the range. And so she's on there. And so I bet that podcast is so funny oh my goodness she's very talented uh, is there anything i'm just curious now and not to put you on the spot um but is there anything in improv that you feel like you really want to improve on like for example mine is my reference level like i just want to have a higher reference level of what's going on I've, I've never really been you know much of like I haven't been uh, really just about watching the news mm -hmm. every day or keeping up with the most popular right. this or that. So I want to work on that. But I think yeah, I, I see that. And when I when I come to see the um, see the uh, coached ensemble shows or, or any other shows, that those those um, actors that can come out with with the specifics of yes. uh, of of, uh, of of their scene are are you know you just it's not necessarily that it's it's funnier. But it's more relatable, I think. Right. And, and, and you pick like up on that and it's say, like, "Oh, oh yeah, that, that, that was <laughs> yeah. such a cool thing to say." Yes. Or I, yeah, I've yeah. done that. Or I know, you know, I've yeah. had one of those. I've seen that in the store. Yeah, I, I, I like that. I, I and I, I pick that that out in, in uh, when I watch others, and uh, so I think that's a, a really good uh, aspect. And yeah. and it's it's all about, or or, or a lot about. Uh, being uh, uh, observant in, in right. your world, yes, and, in your day to day, and, eyes and, wide open, and identifying the specifics of, of things. Um, you know, when um, when you're standing in, a, in 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 line waiting for your uh, to order at Starbucks. Yeah, you know, it's not that that she's just a barista there at the, at the, at the register, right. but that's Claire, and she's got this really cool hat with all those little little buttons on yeah, it. Yeah, her and flair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah, and yeah. and 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 just those those kind of specifics that, that are fun to yeah. to to focus on. Um, and the the other thing that I really want to work on. Is uh, is recognizing the gift that my my scene partner yes, gives me yes. and responding to it. Right, right, absolutely. Yeah. It's so easy when you're up there to be thinking, "What am I going to do next?" Right, and then uh, all of a sudden, information is given to you and like or to me, and I'm like, "Oh, what?" <laughs> like now I'm going to react to that and and listening. It's like, oh my goodness, it sounds so easy, but. It's so important. It's so important to know how to react and everything. And we talk about that in improv. Is, um, it's almost like things matter more or less depending on the reaction of someone else. So if someone gives you a gift, how you react to it makes you know so much of the difference. Yes. If, so if they say something crazy like, I just ate a puppy, and you're like, oh, yeah? And you know, then it's like, well, that kind of doesn't matter now. If you right. don't, you know, if it didn't matter to yeah. the other scene partner, it kind of doesn't matter to the audience. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, but but when they give you that gift and, and you say, well, I just ate a puppy, and, and, and the response back was, oh, how did you cook it? Exactly. Yes. And what else did you eat? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Yes. Did you have it on rye or, or yes. on whole wheat? Oh, 
exactly. <laughs> we played one of my, one of yeah. the most valuable games, and it was so simple. And it was just breaking up into two lines. How you do? And each person comes on each side. You have uh, just two person scenes, and you go back and cross lines. Uh -huh. um, yeah. That's just a common thing. And uh, so we did where, you know, once the person on one side would start the scene. And no matter what that person said, the other person had to react as if it was the most mind-blowing, important information they've ever heard in yes. their life. And you have I no love clue. That and you have to react that moment, <clears throat> just your initial reaction. And then whatever that initial reaction is, you have to stick with that no matter what. And which is so difficult because you... Um, and there's different ways of playing different scenes where sometimes it's more necessary to, um, to be so flexible that you can change every mm. moment. But... It's also so much more realistic if you can stick with one, you know, one emotion, one game throughout a scene, wow. and maybe a second game. But it's so hard not to want to just like pile on sometimes too. Yeah. But yes, that's fine. I, I I love that a lot. Let's do that. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, you go first. Okay, I'll go first. I'll All say right. something. Um, right. uh, uh, hmm. Thanks for coming to my baby shower. Do you think anybody knows that I'm not actually pregnant? Well, thank you for that information, Margaret. Thank you that I went out, I bought a new bassinet and some, some bedding and a blanket and a big pillow for your baby, and now you're not pregnant? Well, I can't believe it. I can use the pillow underneath my belly to make it look more realistic. That's a great idea. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be able to sit down on the train anytime I want. Well, every, pe people will, will buy your lunch at restaurants. That, nobody judges me for absolutely anything I do. That's right, other than getting pregnant. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can look down your nose at them and say, hmm, you don't even know. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. <laughs> Insane. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. Except for getting pregnant. That's perfect. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. That's like the perfect like catch-22 and all of that, too. Oh, my goodness. I'm pregnant, and that means no one can judge me for anything at all except being pregnant. <laughs> that's so good. Oh, man. We played such a fun game on, um, and it, w it, was more, it was more of an exercise, I guess, than a game because some of it was hard. But in conservatory, we, we broke up into different groups and different pairs at different parts of the class. And we'd write, not, and I'm using write in quotations because we didn't have time to write. Mm. But we'd come up with <coughs> blackout scenes in like three minutes and then yeah. perform them. And we'd come out with commercials, fake commercials, and perform them immediately. And um, some of the uh, prompts in creating these were basically to... Um, the last, the ending exercise of the night was to do a commercial for a product that you would never want to endorse. <laughs> and it was yeah. like a, you know, a fake thing or a real thing, something you'd never get behind. And, um, oh man, and ours was uh, Alex instead of Alexa. <laughs> And it, Alex. and it was yeah. great. We came out there and we're just like, are you tired of Alexa's shrill voice? <laughs> and we'd, have, we'd be like, Alexa, what's the capital of Florida? And she'd be like, Tallahassee. And we'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> we'd be like, Alex, what's the capital of Florida? He'd be like, the capital of Florida is Tallahassee. We'd be like, oh my God, he's right. <laughs> we just, it was awful. We're like, my Alexa seems to malfunction for a few days out of every month. I think we need to get rid of her. <laughs> it was like, I'm so terrible. And there was that one Point. We were like, repeat it, you know, we'd ask Alexa a question, and as we were talking, I don't know if it came to fruition when we performed it. Huh. It was one of those things where our part of the class that was planning this was laughing so hard planning it and coming up with great stuff that when we actually went to perform it to the rest of the class, yeah. it it was fine. <laughs> it was like, I think we like ran out of steam before we got up there. We were probably like Im improv brain. We're right, like, yeah. the surprise is so much of it. So it's like, what's so exciting? Gosh, man, that's been fun. Man, that's, this is, it's, it's just, it's fun. It's really fun. I mean, while you're learning. And yeah. like, yeah. I can tell, like, and from everything you've said, it's so obvious you're a lifelong learner. And that's never, you know, it sounds like that's never going to stop, which right, is amazing. Yeah. And that's how I want to be, too. I'm on, I'm already on my second career, and I'm not even 30, and now I'm like, <laughs> well, how many more are in there? Um, but I think that's the best way to be. I'm just, uh, to be open and, and know what, what scares you, but, you know, see that sure. the risks that are outweighed by the rewards right. of connection and everything. Yeah. Oh.
Yeah, so just beautiful. step out there and, 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 and just take that risk. Yes. It's, it, that, that first step is so hard to oh, do. Oh, man, yes. You just, you're, uh, at least for me it was. I, I know I've always admired those people who could do that. I, I always admired those, those people who, when they were nine years old, just, well, oh, I'm man. going to be a doctor. And, yes. and, and, and then damn, if that. they're not a doctor oh, and, goodness. you know, they're in there cutting people open and oh. sewing them up and everything when they're 23. And I just, I and just now we always, just mime that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, as I look back, I, I, I really don't regret you know my kind of right. meandering around and and, and uh, wandering all over and, and meeting a lot of different people. Yeah. And the neat thing is too is that gives you such a massive reference level too. Yeah. Is you know you've seen so many different parts of the world and it had so many different experiences that are unique and everything and so it's like you're bringing all that in too because and it's a different perspective and we all need that like for sure. It's awesome. All, all kinds of people here. It's so great. Nice. That's been, that's maybe been the other great uh, experience for me is just making friends. Yes. And these are such good friends. Like, oh, you yeah. know, like, like they're, they're out there in the hallway. We were just standing there oh, talking yeah. and, and here came Vince. Absolutely. Vince, my friend. And, and, and it's just so good to, to know people and, and to be engaged in, in this, uh, this uh, banter with oh. them. You know, there's this, this. <laughs> Laughter. Absolutely. So I think, oh gosh, I feel like I've laughed more in this building than probably any other single building so in my life. It's, it's been wild. And the kind of laughter that it just, it pains you. It's <laughs> yeah, the good really? kind. It's like you're in tears. I'm just, oh man, there's so, I just yeah. can't keep it together. Oh, so good. I've, yeah. The, um, and so now I'm curious too, and I don't want to like I don't want to scare you with this question because it's scaring me. If I uh, if I ask myself, I'm like, what's after conservatory? Yeah. So, but I'm asking, what do you have any plans after level E? That's that's just kind of been a um, a big question mark for right, me, right? Um, because I I I, I really want to still be an actor. Yeah. I think I'd, I'd I think I'd like to do uh, do voiceovers. Oh, and, and I'd, I'd, I'd like to do uh, other acting. I don't really see myself as a stand-up comic or or yeah, or, or, yeah. or anything like that. But I, I want to continue with with the experiences that I've had in improv. So I don't know exactly where to go next. Um, have you thought about doing another play? Just throwing that out there? Yes, I have. That, in fact, that, yeah, that's kind of yeah, where maybe, my mind's maybe to, been maybe going try, lately try too. Maybe try to to uh, step into yeah. a, a community theater oh. or something like that. I think it'd be great. Ultimately, what I what I want to do is uh, I want to teach improv, and I want to take improv to uh, to senior citizen environments. Yes, oh because my god, because it has been I so good that. for me. Because I'm I'm I. At first, I kind of wanted to deny my um, <clears throat> senior citizenship. Oh, you know, I yeah. wanted to say, well, you know, you're really not that old. Well, I really am, and it's just who I am. Absolutely. And one, one of the important things I think about improv is to, to recognize who you are and just uh, to be that, yes, be that person. Yeah. And so I'm 70 years old. That's, I would not, I really <laughs> wouldn't have guessed that you were 70 though, really. I, I, I've thought. I am yeah. and I've come to, to embrace I that. I did think and, you were and, much and, younger. And, 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 to, and to love that. And I, wanna, I want to then encourage that, that kind of uh, uh, love and acceptance of, of who you are as a senior citizen with other seniors. And seniors, seniors are cool people. You know? Oh my goodness, they are. Yeah, they yes. can be. Right? Yeah. I got my CNA out of high school, and so I worked uh, at like six, at 16, 17, was doing clinicals in um, the uh, nursing homes uh -huh. and the retirement centers in the community, uh -huh. and you meet the neatest people. Oh my yeah. gosh. And my sister did it for years, and she loved it. Oh, it was like her bread and butter. She's like, these are my people. Yeah. <laughs> and, she's, and she's funny, too, because she doesn't get along with girls around it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, you found them. <laughs> no, that's terrible. But um, she gets along with me. I'm like her translator, I feel like. <laughs> no. Um, but yes, and what a great example, honestly, that you are to like people your age that probably have like some, I don't want to sound offensive at all, but I think, you know, at that age, knowing my father, he's 
gotten into a mindset of like I'm old kind of and throwing your hands up and saying that's I don't have much more to you know give to the world like get back to the world I've been telling for years I'm like no you're not old like so <laughs> you're acting like it but you're not you know you're acting like you're done and you're not you got plenty more years and just seeing someone like you who's still out there learning performing and meeting new people and taking risks it's like this is a great example to say there's so much more like that you could experience and live and especially in the nursing homes the improv would be so beneficial yeah. because it's got to be such a hard transition going into them and being comfortable and making new friends right. in in that environment has got to be jarring you know i mean oh yeah, yeah it's 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 such a um a, a life-changing experience to to uh as a senior to uh, experience loss, uh, ah. you know, there's the you know loss of of your vitality, lo loss of, 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 of some of your mobility, or, or loss of somebody that you love, that you that you spent your life with, and, and you know just such such huge changes that to to be able to introduce laughter and lightheartedness and and, and engagement and and connection and community with uh, with people is just so important. It's Absolutely. So important to. Uh, it's just important to keep putting one foot in front of the other and, 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 and yeah. go forward and, and oh. um, live. Absolutely. Man, this has been wonderful. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. This has been really great. I know it's so, I look forward to seeing your show, like your Level E show coming up and that's March 7th? March 7th. Okay, right. cool. March nice. March 7th at, uh, uh, at the Skybox. March 7th right. at the yeah. Skybox. That's yeah. wonderful. Daddy Skybox. I can't wait. Do you know what time offhand? And I I'll think double check. I think it's a 7.30. Uh, I, I believe that she awesome. was going to, she, our, our teacher, um, Tiffany, I was going to uh, verify that and, and oh, let us know. But that's, yeah. that's great. I can't wait to see it. I've loved seeing the sh Level D and Level C. Oh, my goodness. It's been wonderful. And I cannot wait until Thursday. I'm going to see the Coached Ensemble. All right. Yes. It's going to be two, like, late nights, but I'm like, I'm doing it. Yeah. Oh, and so if you're interested, I'm doing SketchCast. On Wednesday night, oh, but oh. Then I don't blame you because it's two very late nights. So well, it's it's yeah. what it's at eleven. It's at ten thirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm here on Wednesday nights until <gasps> ten. So Ooh, you know. Okay, and, and I know yeah. this week we're going first. Uh, so I don't know if that helps, and then you you know if All it right. is like too late or anything, it's like okay. Uh, but uh, and I think Corey's yeah. coming to this one too. So. Good. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'll be there because you were you were terrific in your coached ensemble, particularly so as Ant Woman. Oh my God! Oh, you probably saw my face. I'm like, who the hell is the Ant Woman? <laughs> this does not exist. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'll never forget being in those heels and trying to like, <laughs> stand and not stand it was very interesting. Oh man. Well, I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Thank you. This has been great fun. Thank you, Emma. Thank you. Love protection and correction time. Love protection and correction time. Love protection and correction time. Love protection and correction section. Oh, hey there, guys. This is the part of the show where I elaborate on some of the things that we might have talked about and I make some corrections. Yet, Alan and I are not in need of any corrections. Um, during our interview, I couldn't find anything, uh, obviously, that we needed to correct, so I, I think we're gonna move on to elaborations. Nice job, Alan. Um, I did listen to the Off Book podcast and with special guest Lauren Lapkus podcast, and they are hilarious, and I am blown away by the talented individuals that are on these podcasts. It's so exciting. Um, we talked about some different styles where one actor plays multiple characters in a show or movie, etc. Um, and this style uh, is basically sketch, you know, it's what a lot of uh, comedians do. Um, but the two shows specifically that I mentioned were mockumentary style also. So I mentioned Lunatics, and the comedian who plays in that is Chris Lilly. He is hilarious, and in this mockumentary style show, Lunatics, which can be found on Netflix, Chris Lilly plays uh, multiple characters every single episode. So funny. Uh, Short Poppies is another one that I mentioned, and that is uh, most of the main characters are played by comedian Rise Darsby. D wow. Rice Darby. R-H-Y-S-D-A-R-B-Y. Um, and he is uh, one of my favorites, too. He is from... Uh, 
<coughs> New Zealand. It's definitely New Zealand. New Zealand, Emma. Yeah, which is different than Australia. My mouth is just full of nonsense today, and I don't know why. Um, we talked about uh, some of our strengths and weaknesses in improv, and I mentioned that I wanted to up my reference level a little bit, so I've been trying to watch a lot of um, shows online and on TV, like uh, Colbert, Seth Meyers, Trevor Noah. I've been um, watching some of the news outlets and listening to podcasts, keeping track of social media. Um, just trying to get my references in, watching a lot of pilot episodes. Some of them are, are, um, okay. Some of them are bad. Um, that's how pilots work. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I just finished The Boy with the Cuckoo Clock Heart, if anyone's curious, and that was a great audio book. Um, and I look forward to the one that I just started, which is called The Girl Before. Uh, and that is by J.P. Delaney. And then, um, the boy with the clue, uh, the boy with the cuckoo clock, clock. Oh, I picked the worst title of a book to say on a day where I am so tongue tied, and I'm not making this up. The author of this book is Matthias Malzue. Malze. Matthias Malze. I'm gonna have to spell this one too. M a t h i a s m a l z i e u fascinating name anyway uh all ways to keep my reference level high and sharp whatever that means um one more shout out to alan for his goal of wanting to teach improv to senior citizens i think that's such a beautiful and noble cause and i hope he gets a chance to do that because i know so many people would benefit from that um also, congratulations to his coached ensemble team. I got to see them on January 30th, this, this past Thursday, and it was wonderful. I uh, Interesting fact, Matthew Janice, who was in my Improv for Actors class, um, was on Alan's team, so I got to see everybody perform. Hopefully, Matthew will be on the podcast soon. We've been scheduling, figuring out scheduling for that for a little while. Um, Nicole Perkowitz also had a team on this past week's coached ensemble group it was so awesome to see them congratulations y'all um so alan won best actor when he was 17 years old and now here he is a student of the second city with me and he is about to graduate and his graduating show will be march 7th and it'll be his level e show and Corey harris my own partner will be performing with him um and i cannot wait to see that i'm gonna let out some more details as they come to me and uh as the show gets closer in the meantime if you'd like to see my sketch cast uh hot grandparent sex that will be at judy's beat lounge tomorrow wednesday february 5th at 10 30 p.m you can get your tickets online and um i just uh shout out to my teammates cassie middlemist anthony cusimano phil ty moore and to our director edmund o'brien this has been a wonderful experience with sketchcast my first experience writing and performing uh my work and it has been wonderful um, also, I will I will be performing in this Friday night's pillow talk. Pi I call it pillow talk every time. Pillow fight competition. That's where um, different improv teams compete, and the audience votes on their favorite. So y'all come out Friday night. Um, this one will be at Donnie's Skybox at 10:30 p.m. Pillow fight. Whoop whoop. Um, and I think that might be all I have for you today. I can't wait to introduce you to next week's guest, and that'll be Caroline Chibata. Thanks so much for listening. Talking on you.